Hi guys, this is Sarfaraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question 89 from the OG13 critical reasoning chapter. So this is a bold faced question that we are looking at. As always, we will read the entire argument first and then before we go to the options, we will try to make a prediction uh, as to uh, the role being played by the two bold parts in the argument. Only then will we look at the options. So the argument says, since it has become known that several of a bank's top executives have been buying shares in their own bank, so the first bold part is giving you a fact, something that is happening. Since this has become known, the bank's depositor who had been worried by rumors about or rumors that the bank faced impending financial collapse have been greatly relieved. So uh, since uh, depositors came to know of the first bold part, they have become relieved. They reason that since top executives evidently have faith in the bank's financial soundness, which is why they are buying their shares in the bank, those worrisome rumors must be false. That is the reasoning uh, used by these people. Such reasoning might well be over-optimistic, however, very important and that is the conclusion of the argument now. The conclusion of the argument is that such reasoning, the reasoning of uh, the depositors might be over-optimistic. That is the conclusion of the argument and the second bold part will now explain that conclusion. So such reasoning might well be over optimistic however since corporate executives have been known to buy shares in their own company in a calculated attempt to dispel negative rumors about the company's health. So the author is saying that the reason the bankers might be doing so which is buying shares in their own company is because they are aware of those negative rumors and they want to dispel that. So for all you know the rumors could actually be true. Um, so now, before going to the options, <clears throat> if I have to make a prediction, I know that neither of the two bold parts is the conclusion because the conclusion is such reasoning might well be over optimistic. So if I have to make a prediction, I would say based on the first bold part, some people, which is the depositors, have arrived at a conclusion. The author is saying such conclusion could be incorrect because of the second bold part. That is basically how I have paraphrased uh, or understood the overall structure of the argument. I'll go through the options and see if I can narrow down my choices. A says, the first describes evidence that has been taken as supporting a conclusion. Okay, the second gives a reason for questioning that support. So the first describes evidence that has been taken as supporting a conclusion, which is true. Uh, be, uh, keep in mind, it says supporting a conclusion does not say supporting the main conclusion of uh, the argument. So supporting a conclusion is correct because the first is describing evidence that is supporting uh, a conclusion made by the depositors. So uh, that part is correct and the second gives you a reason for questioning that support is also absolutely correct. So I'm going to hold on to this one. So the second option says the first describes evidence that has been taken as supporting a conclusion which is correct. The second states a contrary conclusion is absolutely wrong and that is not the main conclusion of the argument as I already said. The third option says the first provides evidence in support of the main conclusion of the argument. That is totally wrong. The first does not support the main conclusion of the argument. The D says the first describes the circumstance that the argument as a whole seeks to explain. Now the thing is I don't think that is correct. Because the first says several of a bank's top executives have been buying shares in their own bank. Now, I don't think the entire argument's purpose is to explain why that is happening. The purpose of the argument is actually to tell the depositors not to get overexcited or over optimistic just because top executives of the bank are buying shares in the bank. That is the purpose uh, of the argument. So I don't think that the first is the circumstance that the argument seeks to explain. For that reason, I would eliminate D and E both and I would go with A as the, uh, as the answer. Um, it's a tough question. On a scale of 1 to 5, I would give this a 4 or a 4.5. Have a nice day.